Yum, yum! Hi everyone, Prank Elizabeth for Pixel Fondue. Uh, we will talk about uh, giving some feedback to the Adobe developers uh, about uh, future requests on Substance Designer. Um, so I wanted to give it a shot on a few of those uh, that I've listed along the last uh, couple of months and yeah let's dive in and take a look at what can be interesting to develop. First of all I was thinking about the ability to get the number of, of uh, inputs that you are selecting. There is no feedback actually at the lower left corner to tell you uh, okay you have multiple or I mean five, six, eight uh, nodes selected, you have no feedback at all here. It can be interesting to get just the feedback uh, on the lower left corner. As it is in Modo, when you have multiple objects selected, you can get the name of it or you can get the number of it uh, visible. So it can be really interesting to get this in Substance Designer. Okay, the other one is about maximizing the, the, the view of the different panel. So actually, um, you can tear off, uh, uh, tear off a, a window. Okay, so let's say the graph can be tear off and then maximized. But there's no shortcut actually to, uh, let's say, um, maximize it in the context. So just for, for a comparison, uh, if you take a look at model, you can just press O on the numpad, so the insert, and you will just maximize the view where the mouse uh, is over. So if I want to maximize the item list, I can maximize it just by pressing this shortcut. It can be really interesting to get this also in, uh, in Substance Designer when you have dozens uh, of nodes and you want to get a larger view uh, in Substance Designer. Okay, so there's also another one uh, to bounce on the maximizing uh, stuff. It's that you cannot save actually the layout of um, your interface. Um, if you are using like me, uh, a Cintiq uh, or any other uh, display on the side, you have a dual setup uh, with two screen and one is on the on the um, an horizontal uh, view or I mean a portrait view or a landscape it may be interesting to get a shortcut or get the ability at least to go to the windows and define a um, saved preset uh, of the organization of the all uh, setup here so yeah, you can move uh, things uh, in everywhere and that's really nice, but it can be really interesting to get the ability to save the layout. If you go to Photoshop, you have this um, since a long time. You have also this in other application on Adobe um, product uh, list. And yeah, it should be interesting to add those uh, to Substance Designer, saving layouts. So as you are working also uh, with different noting uh, stuff, you might want to get some feedback of the of the count uh, in different functions. So um, let me open this uh, graph here, and we will take a look at what I'm talking about with the functions. Uh, when you are into a function, I mean, you are creating a special function and you are you have those uh, math nodes and logic node uh, into Substance Designer, you didn't see the current um, output of it, the, the um, count uh, in this uh, example. This is an integer right here, and there's no feedback of what is the count, actually. So... You need to go back and forth, as I done on the last video. Uh, if I define a specific um, count here, I need to go back here, and I have the I have no idea about what is the current um, result of it. And same with the subtraction and addition, 
I don't know if there's a shortcut or something that can show the results, but there's no results here. Okay, you have just the name input and not the value of it. So yeah, they, that could, that could be a bit difficult. So for instance, if I get 20 here and I go to the function here, I have no idea <laughs> that's 20 here. There's no feedback at all. So 20 minus uh, 16, it's four here. I didn't see it also same on the output. So it can be interesting to get at the lower uh, right corner or maybe um, making some uh, um, organization with maybe the input at the top, uh, I mean outside of the icon at the top um, left corner and the output at the right side corner or maybe here and here at the top. So separating those different or maybe with a not key. Uh, it can be really interesting to get this uh, available like it is uh, in other contexts. So for instance, if I'm here and I'm looking at uh, the value of uh, this uh, channel in um, in model, I can get the, out the, the information of what is the state of this uh, channel, actually, uh, this input. So yeah, it can be really interesting to get this, uh, those kind of improvements into Substance Designer. designer. So of course, um, if there's uh, any of those features already available on Substance Designer, <laughs> please let me know. I would be really curious to use them. Uh, so let me know uh, in the comments below what you think about all those future requests. See you next time for a further uh, video on Pixel Fondue. Yum, yum!